Hey there everybody, today I'm going to be teaching you how to curl your hair with a straightener. So I'm going to get right into it actually and not talk too much. So the first thing I'm going to do is section off my hair. So I sort of section off the top and I leave a lot of hair at the bottom because the bottom doesn't really matter as much because you can't see it as well. So I have a, like a really thinner section at the top and a thicker section at the bottom. And then I split it in half at the back so that we have these two sections here. So I start with all my hair at the front and then as I'm working, I take the curled pieces and I put them behind me. So my hair straightener has heated up. You're gonna need a hair straightener that is pretty thin like this. This technique doesn't exactly work with a thicker hair straightener. Uh, this one right here, I've had a lot of people ask me about this. It's by, it's called Max Pro System. I believe it's by the Sharper Image. And I bought it at a store in Montreal. Um, but I can't remember the name of the place right now. So I'm sorry about that. But there's a lot of straighteners that are very good quality. Um, they're usually, you can get a good one for about $100. So that's probably the price range you should be looking for. Anyway, I'm just going to get started now. First, I comb it out, grab my straightener, and I want the curls to turn away from my face. I am going to grab the straightener like this, so my wrist is facing out. I clamp the hair, and then I turn it towards the back, like this. I do one full turn, and then I turn the straightener towards the ground, and I pull down. Now, I think I explained that way more complicated than it needed to be. So I will show you again, it's actually pretty easy. Calm it out so that it comes out all smooth. Then grab the hair straightener, spin it once so that your hair is facing the bottom again and then just pull the hair down. You can't do this too quickly or else the curl won't work. You have to be very patient. There we go. And you might have noticed that I didn't put any hair protectant in um, that's because I find that if you put any product in your hair before curling it, it doesn't stay as well. So I don't protect my hair before curling it, which a lot of you will probably bash me about that, but I don't curl my hair that often, so I don't really damage it too much. The only thing that could really damage it for me is because I straighten it a lot, but whenever I straighten my hair, I do put a hair protectant in it. Anyway, so I'm going to finish the bottom half of my hair and then I will be back with you when I take down the top layer and start playing around with that. So I'll see you in a couple seconds. Sometimes if the curl isn't showing up right away, I twist the hair and then it starts to show. Also, you can see that I have, I'm on the other side than what I have started up, so you'll have to adjust the way that you twist because you have to keep them all going across the face, like, or sorry, away from the face. It'd be kind of weird if this side was going away and then this side was going towards. So you always want to make sure that you double check that when you're switching sides. Okay, so I've completed this side pretty much. And now I'm just going to show you how to do the front bits of the other side. Now I have a lot of layers, a lot of little short layers, and I have my bangs too. So I want to try to get as close to my bangs, sorry, I want to try to get as close to my bangs as I can without actually curling my bangs by accident. So I sort of want to find that point where my bangs end, and I would say that this is sort of the part, and I just want to make sure that I don't get that, now this will look weird because my bangs don't really go this way. But I want to make sure that I don't get them stuck in my hair straightener. So you, once again, you do want to take small sections. That's sort of a big section, but we'll separate it later. There we go. Same as before. Because the end, these sections are really short hair, I want to try to get the clamp as close to the root as possible. And at this point, I would just go look over the long bits of my hair that haven't really kept their curl, and I would probably just do them again. Then what I do is I sort of play around with my hair so that it doesn't look very piecey. I want all the curls to sort of just like blend together. 
Okay, and then we take the hairspray. Oh, you fancy, huh? Oh, you fancy, huh? Oh, you fancy, huh? Oh, you fancy, huh? Nail done, hair done, everything did. Nail done, hair done, everything did. Oh, you fancy, huh? So this is the finished look. And I hope it looks good in the back. That's what it looks like. I like to play around with it a little bit so that the curls come out sometimes. Even though I like tight curls too, but for this, it's almost nicer to have it a little bit messy. There you go. And that's how I get my curly hair. I really hope that you like this tutorial, and I will see you next time. Bye, everybody.